Hello, welcome, welcome back if you're a current subscriber, welcome if you're new. I have a small Rose Girls haul for you. This was her mini muffin bag pre-order. So, it is thundering and raining out, so if you hear that, if you hear my dogs, the dogs are in here as well. And this is a small haul, okay? Like, yeah. All right, so. I like her new business card. It is, it looks bronze and then uh, iridescent. So it says snap, share, tag, Rose Girls Facebook and Instagram, and Jenny is the owner. So I like that new uh, card there. And then she does include a sample. I got pineapple, vanilla, Waikiki Beach BW type. That's a tongue twister. Oh, that's great. Oh, I would definitely get more of that. Yummy. I did not participate in her last pre-order. I am being good, so yeah, no, I did not do that. Okay, and then she did include an egg, and there's two crackle and then Mr. Good's chocolate in there, so thank you for that. I'm actually gonna set that up though, because don't want the dogs to get that. So let's get into this. All right. First off, we have Kissing on the Beach, which is Lotus flower, ocean mist, sea air, driftwood, musk, dew, and coastal kale. I love coastal kale. And I had missed her muffins. She hasn't done them for quite a while, so I wanted to try them again. This is pretty light, though. I definitely get like a sea air, ocean mist with the kale. But I would have thought this would have been stronger only because there's coastal kale in it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm going to use this in a bedroom, so that's okay. So, I mean, it's great. I don't know if I've had this blend. I don't think I have, but I've been more into like the ocean mist sea air scents. And then, again, like I said, I love coastal kale. So this again is kissing on the beach. And I love the beach and who doesn't like a good kiss on the beach. All right. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Okay. Then I got Alexa do the laundry. I'm like, what the heck is that? There's some heavy raindrops. Okay. So, sea salt, fluffy towels, jasmine rose, H2O. That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, that's good. I don't, you know, I don't like laundry, but... Oh, I like that. And look at how pretty this is. Did she have leftovers of these? I don't know. I'm going to sneeze, though, I think, from this. Okay, and I have skylights, so when you hear that, like, that's because I have skylights. So it's literally hitting on top of us. I hope you enjoy. This is really good. I would totally get more of this. This, but this is gonna, okay, to be fair, I'm not going to. I will watch for it when I finish this because this is gonna go in my bedroom, bathroom, and laundry room. So this is gonna last me, like when I top this, this is gonna be like three, four times because I some of those I only have mini warmers. So I'm super excited and I'm not ordering more because I don't need to I have enough. Okay, Viva Las Vegas. Stainless steel, all-nighter, Swedish dream salt, and oak moss. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that's all right. Again, they're small, and so I was kind of trying some that maybe I wouldn't normally try. So this is okay. I would say it's a seductive scent with the all-nighter, the stainless steel. I was watching Nisi's video, and I appreciate her because she was saying... If you're a bakery lover, this isn't for you. And I was like, thank you for saying that. Because I need people to tell me, like, if you're a bakery lover, which, you know, I am. And she wasn't speaking, obviously, just to me. In general, she's talking to bakery lovers. I appreciate that only because it's really hard sometimes when we step out of our comfort zone. But you guys know I've been warming a lot of florals and different scents that I didn't used to like. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try some of those scents because... I don't know if it's the season. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know what it is, but it, you know, I'm liking more notes. Now this, I would definitely say is a seductive, uh, leaning more masculine scent to me. Again, it's just not something I, if you, if this, this is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but this is not something I would put on my skin and then be like, yes, this is something I'm going to wear out. 
I mean, I don't even go out. I have a husband. I, I mean, but even if I, like, this is a great scent if you sprayed this on him. Or was a lotion or a body care, whatever. Uh, this is really good, though. I mean, it's beautiful. But, again, I just wanted to try some different scents because it's a great time, too. Because normally you have to get the bags. And the, the mini melters are $9. And I don't know if these were $4.50, $5.50, $6.50, $6.50. I don't remember what they were. And that's not the point. So I didn't, I don't think I got two of any of these because then that wouldn't, I, the, the mini melter bag would have been cheaper, although these are so dang cute. So let's just stop talking because, uh, yeah. All right, this is Ocean Child Sun, Sun and Sand Yankee Candle Type and Salty Sea Air. Mm, I know. Oh, this is good. Oh, if you like sunscreen kind of scents or beachy vibes, this is great. Yes. Now, I swear that I smelled Yankees Sun and Sand at Kohl's, but maybe I it was not maybe it wasn't that. But I think that it's definitely very very strong, but I think the salty sea air helps it personally for me. So, it is very strong on the sun and and sand type. Um, but I appreciate that the salty sea air is in there. And again, this will last me all of this summer because I have Quite a collection of wax and that's what I'm trying to focus on when I'm ordering like I only got six of these I think yes so if you need to watch someone else like go watch up like just what I usually do on YouTube is like search if I'm looking for something specific and I'm just on a big rose girls kick and I want to like see if there's other people who've reviewed it and then or smell it and kind of describe it I will go search in Google search and just be like Rose Girls Hall or RG Wax Hall. So kind of do that and then just see. And I'm sure there's people out there with, you know, a lot more, um, a lot larger hauls. But I'm just not there right now. Go watch my videos from two years ago. I was a little crazy. Okay, next up is Kiwi Coconut Cake Pops. Sweet, juicy kiwi, coconut cream, and vanilla cake pops. Now, I got this one because I think it was Beth. I, well, I know it was Beth here on YouTube. She was saying how she loves kiwi and doesn't, I think it reminds her of something or with her grandma. So I just thought it was a beautiful story. And just, she mentioned kiwi and I can't remember. I need to go watch the video again because clearly I can't remember again. I have just sometimes my memory. I remember small pieces of the story, but not the whole piece of the story. And I think she had this or something similar. And she said that a lot of people don't do kiwi. So she was going to try this. This is really good. This one I almost wish I would have got a mini melter of because it is very unique. You get the kiwi and then you get the co creamy coconut, which is the, I don't smell a lot of cake pop, but I definitely can see there's a like that bakery component in this. This is very good, but yummy to the kiwi and the coconut. So sweet, juicy kiwi, coconut cream, and vanilla. this is great. Yeah, that's excellent. I On more, maybe I'll get more of that cake pop, but it, this is great. Okay, and last but not least is a little bit flaky. This is Cinnamon Bear Claws Frosted Cronuts Toasted Marshmallows. Now, the only reason I didn't get a mini melter or a larger amount was because I went back and watched videos, and I couldn't remember if anyone said that this was a heavy cinnamon, like a hot cinnamon, or if it was a generally just a well-blended cinnamon, because I don't want a, a hot cinnamon smell, taste. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this and it's not like if you think about Sensi's cinnamon or sticky cinnamon bun that's so red hot cinnamon and I was really afraid like I I went and searched on our Facebook page and somebody had asked the question but then I didn't see an answer so then by the time I needed to order so I didn't forget I was like I'll just order a smaller amount and try it because the reality is if you love it then if they don't pour it again well I guess so be it but at least I could try it and see what I think and this should be enough to do my open, it probably just be a one-time thing in my open concept, which is a little pricey, but it's okay. That way I know, and if she offers it in the future in mini melters, then I would be able to say, yes, I enjoyed that, or it didn't perform, and then I wouldn't get any more of it. So I do enjoy this. Um, does it smell like anything unique? Not necessarily. I generally like carbs from... Um, Rose Girls, but her mom, Kathy Scoopable, has done no frill loaves, and you can get carbs in loaves from her. And I have three of those, and that over this. I would prefer carbs 
or L3s, I put a spell on you. It, this isn't, it's not bad by any means, but it just, those I prefer if you're asking me. But if you love this, you do you. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So that's my haul. Yep, it's small, but like I said, I don't need a lot of wax. And so part of my low buy is like, rein it in and see what you really need. And you're going to see at some point, if you haven't already seen it, I am going to post my um, vendor wax that I organized and went through my collection. And it's editing that video is terrifying to me because I have way too much wax. And so that really just like lately has made me feel like, has made me feel bad. Like I don't need that much wax. And then I haven't even done my Scentsy one and I asked my husband about helping me. We're gonna, I'm gonna redo this. I'm continuing to redecorate the studio because I, I am in here more and I've been doing editing and things like that. So he is gonna help me. I might do a pegboard and hang some of my Scentsy scents up. I don't know how many I'll get based on the space. So that's a work in progress. So you might see that video eventually, but I think he's gonna start working on that this weekend. So anyway. I will probably do that once we organize that. But right now what I did do with them is I put them all alphabetically because I can't see them. So the, that way I can go in and pull out the bins and they're alphabetical. Uh, so we'll see. But if you store yours upright, will you let me know if you have issues with the oils leaking? Because obviously you have them hanging. So I just know sometimes the bars can get pretty sweaty and I'm wondering how messy it gets. And I have quite a collection so I don't know how many I'll actually hang up or how I'll do that. But anyway, I'm just jammering on and I don't need to. So I hope that you were able to snag some stuff. If you purchased from this um, one where she had the mini muffins, let us know your favorites. Uh, like I said, I just, I didn't, and I didn't even order. Gosh, it almost sounds like hail, doesn't it? Well, it's only 30 some degrees. So, I mean, it could burst certainly be some larger or frozen pieces. Yeah, it kind of looks like a small hail up on top of my sun um, or skylights. I'm rambling again. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.